right, shalom, warm, shalom. Warm. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Yahweh Rechar Kadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and Rechar Kadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will teach well in the scriptures, and salutations to all you brothers out there who are pushing forward in our truth and in all sincerity. I just want to get into a little quick walk and talk about how, you know, the days of scoffing, you know, they're about to cease, okay? And um, I was just thinking about um, the situation that the brothers out there in Dallas had um, on Friday, you know, during their, uh, you know, camp session. And, you know, they had that one um, Christian scoffer, and they had, you know, Sar uh, Netta come up, all right? And, you know, I was just thinking about how, you know, the scriptures say what, um, you know, I think it's Second Peter 3 and 3. It says that basically um, in the um, in the last days there shall be scoffers, okay? You see, that's one of the uh, end time prophecies that there's, um, you know, going to be scoffers. But it also says in the book of Ezekiel, if I'm not mistaken, it says that the Lord is going to um, basically make that proverb in Israel to cease, okay? So the Lord, <clears throat> at some point, he's going to um, fulfill these prophecies and these scoffers they're good you know their scoffing days are going to be over because instead of it just being you know words being you know you know presented to them you know just a message presented to them all right they're actually going to be living through these horrific you know uh chaotic you know prophecies you know you know the uh basically all all the riots the you know the race wars the you know the pestilences okay the famines the warfare, all these things, they're going to actually be, um, you know, going through it, all right? You know, it's not going to just be talk anymore. And with that being said, you know, as the scriptures say in the book of Ezekiel, I think it's the, uh, um, I think it's the third chapter and also the 33rd chapter, if I'm not mistaken, it says that then shall they know that a prophet was amongst them, okay? So when all these things, you know, are happening to them, all right, and the, the things that are happening in the world, they're going to uh, finally admit, okay, that, look, I, they're going to say, I, I've been amongst the prophets. They tried to warn me. They tried to tell me of these evil days that are, you know, that are here now, okay? You know, and that's when that scripture, um, I believe it's uh, the book of Psalms, was it 110 and 3, I believe? It says, um, it, it, uh, um, how does it go? Um, My people shall be willing, you know, in the day of thy power. Okay? See, that's when the, our people are going to want to, you know, get right. But see, for the majority of our people, you know, by that point, it's going to be too late for them. Okay? That's when the Lord, as the scriptures say, he's going to laugh at their calamity. That's in the book of Proverbs, the first chapter. He's going to laugh at their calamities. When all hell's breaking loose, when they're suffering, when, the, when they're, you know, calling on the Lord, hey, the Lord's going to laugh at, at them. All right? He's not going to listen. Okay? So, you know, uh, uh, you know. So lucky. Had to get away from that person. But um, <clears throat> you know, the Lord's gonna laugh at their, you know, calamities, their distress. Okay. All right. You know. And that's why, you know, for us that are in this truth, hey, we gotta uh, seek the Lord while He may be found. Okay. We have to repent daily. We have to get better daily. All right. That's what we have to do. Okay. Because we don't want to be like these uh, uh these scoffers, these two thirds. Okay. We don't want to be like them. We don't want to get judged, you know, with the uh, uh, those that aren't, you know, who are un uncircumcised, all right, in the in the heart, all right. We don't want to be. We don't want to get that judgment like that, okay. We don't want to get that ungodly judgment, okay. You know, we want to get the reward of the uh, of the righteous, okay. Where we get, you know, protected, shielded, you know. Where we uh, uh um, where we're having things in abundance, all right. You know, they, they, that's what we want, okay? You know? And the scriptures say, I'll say this, you know, uh, I think it's in uh, 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter. You know, it talks about then they're going to know whom the Lord's chosen are, all right? You know, and that's coming. That's coming very soon. And all these people that mocked us, that, you know, as the scriptures talk about, hey, they misused the prophets, and that's in 2nd uh, Chronicles, the 36th chapter. These people, all right, that did all these things, they're going to know whom the Lord's chosen are. Because we're going to have a glow. 
okay, we're, we're going to be protected, shielded. And they're going to be mad that they didn't get on, you know, on board. You know? They're going to be mad that they didn't get on board. They're, they're going to be beating themselves up, so to speak. You know? Hey, but it is what it is, man. You know, because, look, everybody's not chosen to be a part of the elect. You know, that's why, you know, the, you know, us brothers that are in this truth, hey, we're, we're, we're trying our hardest to, you know, uh, to, to basically um, please the Lord. Because we want to be, you know, that, that, that chosen, you know, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the chosen, we want to be the elect. All right? You know, we want to be a, a part of that, 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 you know, that winning club. Okay? We don't want to be in the losing club. I say, no, nothing's good, nothing good is coming to, you know, these, these scoffers, these two-thirds, these reprobates. Nothing good is, co you know, coming to them, all right? Nothing good is coming. None but a, a death, you know, agony, okay? It, it, the scriptures talk about how they're going to dwell in torments. You see, all these things that are going to fall upon these people, all right, for not listening, for not hearkening, okay? All these, you know, evils that, that, that the Lord... You know, has written in the scriptures that's gonna come upon these people, man. Okay. And then, as the scriptures say, then they're they're gonna know after death by pain. Okay. They're gonna know it after after they die, but it's gonna be a painful death. It's not gonna be just something, you know, something quick. Okay. The Lord has a lot of uh, horrific judgments. Okay. In store for these people. Okay. And that's because hey, they, they ultimately didn't believe the Most High. And they scoffed him, okay? Hey, what is it? It says in that, that second Ezra, the ninth chapter, it says, um, you know, uh, they despise, all right, the word, you know, despise the law. You know, I'm roughly uh, paraphrasing it, okay? They, they can't stand a righteousness. And the reason why is because it, it has a standard, okay? And with that standard, you have to what? You have to change your ways. And you see, these people, they hate the light, as it says in the book of John, because their deeds are evil. See, these people love doing wickedness, okay? These people love committing idolatry, adultery. They love doing drugs. They love selling drugs. They love, you know, getting over their brother. They, 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 this is what they love doing, okay? These people love eating abominable foods. This, this, this is what they love to do, okay? It's sport to them, as the scriptures talk about, okay? This is a, a sport to them, okay? Because you'll have guys, I'll say this, you, I, I've heard this on, you know, YouTube videos and stuff. You have guys out there that literally get, have competitions with each other to see how many uh, married women or, you know, women that have, you know, men, right? How, how, how many uh, of those women that they can get? And that's some wicked ass uh, uh, shit, man, Okay? Like I said, the scriptures to say it's as sport to them. All right, and so the Lord, He's going, He's going to pay a visit to these people, and it's not going to be friendly either. And we're coming up uh, into those times, man. All right, we're we're really getting close. All right, it's fast approaching. Whether these people believe it, like it or not, this is coming. Okay, it's coming down the pipeline, and everyone's going to have to deal with it. And see, the thing is. Uh, the main thing is, are you in good standings with the Lord or not? That's the main question that you have to ask yourself. Are you in good standings with the Lord? Have you been doing what the Lord has told you to do? You know? All right? And see, for the majority of these people, they haven't been doing it. Hey, they've been fighting the will of Yahweh Hashem al Shai. Okay? That's what they've been doing. Hey, their sacrifice, all right, their sacrifices is nothing but, you know, uh, it, 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 it's uh, wicked. It, it's it's abominable. Okay, all right. It's tainted. Okay, that's their sacrifices. All right, that's what they've presented to the altar. You see, what we've been doing is we've been presenting th these righteous sacrifices to the best of our ability. Okay, and we're praying that that's a you know a sweet you know savor to the Lord that you know this is a good smell to Him. All right. These people, man, they, they, their works are terrible. And as the scriptures say, everybody's going to get judged according to the, their works, all right? They're going to get judged. We all must appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. 
and whether our works be good or whether they be evil. You know? See, you know, these people, they're screwed, man. And when, when that, that, that great, you know, judgment comes, hey, these people are screwed, man. Okay? You know? And we're going to laugh at these people, man, when they're in their worst estate. Because they laughed at us. You know? Hey, you reap what you sow, man. While they're pining away, asking for help, we're going to be laughing in a good, you know, and in a good estate, man. All right? But, hey, these scoffing days are about to cease very soon. Because we're, we're entering into a time period unlike any other, man. We're, we're really about to enter into Jacob's trouble very soon. You know, you can feel it. And we, we see all the things that are happening. Okay? You know, we, we get, you know, you know, we see all these, you know, news reports. Things are about to change, man. Okay, it's about to change very, very soon. You know, you know, I'm just speaking as man right now. I believe, you know, after this whole quote unquote holiday season is over with, things are about to get real ugly out here. You know, you're about to start seeing more of these, uh, what they call essential workers. You know, they're about to leave their jobs. Okay, which is going to leave this, uh, this system in shambles, you know. Hey, the, 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 what is that? The supply chain is all messed up. People aren't going to get their goods. Okay? Hey, the inflation is uh, uh, on the rise. Hey, they've been talking about hyperinflation. Okay? And I'll say this. They've been saying this on, um, on regular uh, news channels now. It's not even... Um, you know, it's not just talked about on the, you know, the alternative medias anymore. We're talking about regular, you know... You know, CBS news you know, stations, ABC, okay? You see stuff at the gas station TVs, you know, hey, the, the, your, your basic radio, you know, uh, channels, okay? They're, they're saying this. So when, that, when they're saying this, you know it's, you know, uh, you know uh, it's upon us. It's nigh, okay? So it's about to get real, real ugly out here, okay? But, um, you know, I think I'm just going to end it off, you know, with that. You know, I was just, you know... Thinking about that, you know, about this topic, about how hey, all, all this scoffing is about to cease. Everyone's about to just, hey, just shut up, and they're about to, uh, they're, they're not going to be able to say anything very soon, okay? And at the end of the day, the Lord, he's going to uh, justify the elect, okay? He's going to exalt the elect, and the elect is going to get the, uh, the big victory at the end of the day. They're going to get that big W, while everyone's going to get that big L, okay? You know? So that's why hey, we always got to praise you, Yahweh Shem Al Shai, and, and just pray that you know we're on His, uh, uh, you know, good side. You know, that's why hey, we just got to keep doing what we're doing. You know, stay holy, be separate, <coughs> okay, and just wait and be patient, okay, and endure all these afflictions. All right, and with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shem Al Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom, I'm the Baba Ball.